Have you ever wondered why the sky is blue, and whether it is actually blue or perhaps it is another color altogether? The blue sky is a dominant phenomena that covers most of the daylight atmosphere above the Earth's surface. However, as you may have noticed many a times during the 24-hour period, the sky radiates with different colors ranging from bright rainbow sunrise to a tint orange sunset and much more. Not to mention the night dark sky that is decorated with twinkling stars and other radiant celestial bodies. Perhaps you might be thinking or have thought, it would be a fantastic occasion if every day were filled with a bright blue sky. A color so rich and serene yet distant up above the tallest skyscrapers the world could afford today. Now imagine, waking up every day to a bright blue sky and furthermore, a 24-hour bright blue sky. The thought of this happening does not come without the uneasiness of another real fact. The fact that, in as much as the blue sky is looked upon with serenity, it will gradually become boring, if that were the only spectacle the sky could offer. Thankfully, the sky offers a variety of colors throughout the day. So, why does the Earth appear to have a blue ceiling during the daylight? To understand this question, we must first unpack some few reminders about light and the sun. Light from the sun covers a distance of approximately 93 million miles in roughly 8 minutes to arrive at the Earth's atmosphere. Also, light rays travel in a straight line unless obstructed by matter such as air particles, and since our Earth's atmosphere is filled with air molecules, it is granted that sunlight will be distracted by them. The atmosphere has an abundance of oxygen, nitrogen, and argon. These gases move in different wavelength and frequencies compared to that of light. The bouncing back and forth of light reflects various colors. It is also worth noting, the space above the Earth's surface is covered with air molecules with varying density, population, and layers. For instance, the stratosphere is composed of mainly, the ozone molecules, which is essential in blocking unhealthy sunlight from reaching the Earth's surface. In the furthest layer, which is known as exosphere, air is highly ionized and even bonding between their atoms broken, which allows some of them to escape gravity into space. Think of it like boiling water in a pressurized pot that is heated until some vaporize towards the ceiling. These air particles construct something similar to a prism and act like it when light rays are shown through. Air particles scatters light from the sun in various directions which favors blue light due to its higher frequency, than red, or orange light. It is the reason why the sky overhead tends to appear blue, while due to more scattering of blue rays, the horizon is usually arrayed in pale or white. However, without the intervention of oxygen and nitrogen molecules, light rays from the sun would render the daylight sky into a different color. Another important intervener is our eyes. Unlike some animals, human eyes have a special ability to distinguish colors. This is possible because of the millions of apparatus in our eyes known as cones and rods, and the brain power which interprets colors. There is more to understanding color and light, and even to this day mankind has achieved to only comprehend truly little about them, in the grand scheme of the universe and time. If you are still curious about this subject as the cat is, perhaps you will benefit from, among many others, the work of Lord Rayleigh a 19th century British physicist who made a significant contribution in understanding the scattering of light by air particles, hence different colors.